Hi, Douglas Simonson here coming to you from Mexico with another video designed to help you make better paintings. This video is a follow-up to my earlier video called How to Use Photoshop to Make Your Photos Easier to Paint From. In this one, I'll be talking about another program called GIMP, which is a free alternative to Photoshop, which you can get for either Windows or Mac. As I explained in the earlier video, this one is for people like me, painters like me, who prefer to work from photographs. It's basically a technique that uses a computer program, in this case GIMP, to simplify your photographic image to make it easier to work from, to make your job as a painter easier. So let's begin with where you go to download the program in the first place. Basically all you have to do is search for GIMP, that's G-I-M-P, online. You should arrive at a page that looks pretty much like this. Then all you have to do is click on Downloads. Then it's just a matter of downloading and installing it. Once you've got GIMP open, just go to the File drop-down menu and choose Open to navigate to any image file you want to work on. Okay, now we're ready to do some photo manipulation. The first thing I do when prepping a photo for painting is to make it a little more dramatic, and I do that by heightening the contrast. For this, you'll go to the drop-down menu Colors, and then go to Levels. Then, as you can see, you can drag the black slider toward the middle to darken the darks and the white slider toward the middle to lighten the lights until you've got the contrast and the look that you want. The next filter I apply is saturation to make the colors more vivid. That's in the same drop-down menu, Colors. This time, look for saturation. This window will open with a value of 1.000. That's like the native state of the image. No saturation has been added. You can go lower for less color saturation and higher for more color. It goes up to like 10, which is a lot. I usually end up with somewhere between 1.2 and 1.5. The next filter I use is Despeckle. Go to the Filters drop-down menu then choose Enhance, and then Despeckle. Okay, when you get the Despeckle window open, you have to make some adjustments. First, make sure the two boxes, Adaptive and Recursive, are both unchecked. Next, drag the black level slider all the way to the left. It'll say negative 1 in the indicator on the right and drag the white level all the way to the right. It'll say 256. Once you've done that, you can drag the radius slider around until you get the level of softening you want. You'll have to experiment a bit with this. Let's zoom in a bit before we do the final filter, which is Posterize. Posterize is found in the Colors drop-down menu. You can click on the number in the Posterize Levels indicator to increase or decrease the number of levels until you get what you want. And there you have an image that will make your job as a painter quite a bit easier. One thing you should do before you begin working on the image, and which I forgot to put in this video, is to make a duplicate layer of your basic image and then do all the tweaks to the new layer. That way, when you're done, you'll have the tweaked layer and the original detailed layer. You should then print out both versions and put them up beside your painting as you're working. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. If you have questions, put them in the comments below. Okay? Now go paint!